world headquarters of common sense. Talk radio. If we cut away from the headlines, you know, the, it's on every single newspaper. As as somebody who worked for 30 years at, at Scotland Yard, does and did Dame Cressida Dick deserve the criticism that's being thrown at her? Look, the criticism has been aimed at the Metropolitan Police. Cressida Dick was a commissioner and the head of the Metropolitan Police. And therefore, the criticism is deserved by the organisation. You can't defend the indefensible. When you had what we had with the selfie photographs of Nina Smallman and Bieber Henry, and then you move forward th further to the murder of Sarah Everard by a a police officer. Now, that isn't anybody's fault at all. But then you had the vigil, which hundreds of women went to throughout an entire day, and it resulted in scuffles with police and police arresting women. I'm not saying that the police, you know, that they were apparently justified in what they did, but the fact is that plays out in the public domain and it has a huge, huge impact on trust and confidence of the organisation. Remember, the organisation has already had trust eroded yeah. from black and minority community. It's not helpful when Cressida Dick stands up as a commissioner of the organisation and says, I don't want to use language like institutional uh, racism because it's not helpful. What that does is it erodes trust further within the organisation sure. externally and it gives officers a blanket authority to go out and behave the way they want to. Shadnam, would you say then, from your point of view, as many have said this morning, that she should have resigned sooner? I think it was unfortunate that she was put in a position to extend her appointment for yeah. a further two years because it was very rocky at the time. It's not for me to say whether she should have resigned. She she is a woman herself, OK? And let's not forget, she is a woman who has made history, the first woman to become the commissioner of the biggest police force sure. in the entire country. And she was given that appointment for five years and then it was extended for a further two years. The, the, the people that gave her that appointment need to make the decision. Well, you know, let, let's, bring, let's bring it on to that. Sadiq Khan, to me, that statement last night was all about trying to save his own backside. Sadiq Khan gave her a new contract. Sadiq Khan is the mayor of London. Sadiq Khan surely has to take responsibility for the appalling situation, not just with the Met, but crime in London and everything else. And I'm not sticking up for Cressida Dick at all because I am absolutely with you if you know, the leader of an organisation that is patently failing at what it's supposed to do gets things wrong. The leader has to go. But her leader is Sadiq Khan. And I would suggest this morning his position is not great on this. Would you agree with that, Shadnam? Well, no, look, what I would say is that for police officers and even as a former officer, I don't get involved with the politics. No, but I'm asking you your opinion. What, what I say is this. Sadiq Khan gave that stamp of approval last year when Boris Johnson and Priti Patel made the decision to extend the appointment for Cressida Dick. All three of them said they had confidence in her. Yeah. What has changed between then and now? Yes, there's been a further catalogue of events because you've got the Downing Street parties, you've got the Daniel Morgan situation where the Met was labelled institutionally corrupt, and then you've had the recent Charing Cross... Um, WhatsApp groups that has emerged as well. So, in essence, what changed Sadiq's mind and why didn't Boris Johnson and Priti Patel stand up in the last few days and say, well, actually, we do have confidence in her. Where are the members of those government that put her in that position? I'm not blaming, you know, Cressida Dick for um, being given the appointment. She took the appointment. And what was the reason that who, they gave who, who are you blaming for the appointment? Are you blaming Boris Johnson or are you blaming Sadiq Khan? Three people, three people gave the seal of approval sure. for the commissioner to go ahead because I had full confidence in her. We heard that. It was it was announced everywhere. So it's those three people sure. who clearly aren't speaking to each other because yeah. Sidney <laughs> made a decision without any conversation with Priti Patel yeah. and yeah. suddenly the commissioner has resigned. What I would say is, you know, unfortunately, it was inevitable that it was going to come to this. I didn't see that her appointment would last till 2024, given the catalogue of catastrophic incidents that have taken place in the last couple of years. Um, what needs to happen to restore faith in the police, Shabnam, briefly? What, what, what needs to happen and who should the next commissioner be, in your, in your opinion? Well, they need some very, very strong leadership at the top mm. and they need 
sure that they have frontline managers who are being supported, who also have the courage to actually challenge those that are behaving in ways that they shouldn't be behaving. And mo most importantly, they should give space, space, safe spaces to those officers uh, that come along and that are complainants of it, and they should be supported so that they're not victimised, bullied, or subjected <clears throat> to discrimination. As for who should be the new commissioner, I think it's time to go further afield and look at somebody from an outside perspective who comes in completely independent, who doesn't run an old boys network yeah. and who takes people and will actually challenge the leadership team. I mean, where have the rest of the leadership team been when the commissioner has been um, hammered on a weekly basis? Because whilst she, the buck stops with her, yeah. People are appointed to yeah. do specific roles. And how are you how are you going to change that if you just, as you said, promote from within and it's just that continual process? Completely agree with each other. Just just to finish, Dame Cressida Dick has been rightly criticised, left, right and centre, for, for the catastrophic catalogue, as you said, of, of disasters that have happened. Any legacy, any positive legacy as she heads into retirement or not? Is it all negative or you talked about her being the first woman commissioner, but is there anything that she's achieved in her five years that, that she can look back on in a positive way? I think, unfortunately, what has happened in the last two years has diluted her legacy. And I hope that, you know, that the... Boris Johnson and Priti Patel come out and say these are her legacies. The problem is, like they used to say to me in the job, you're only as good as your last job. And unfortunately, the last jobs in the, the organisations have been terrible, really. Shadnam Shoudhury, Detective Superintendent of Scotland Yard for 30 years. Thank you very much. Good talk. Hot talk. Bold talk. Talk radio. Listen on your smart speaker. Watch it live on your smart TV. The world headquarters of common sense. Talk radio.